Hey YouTube, this is White Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to do this spinning starburst effect. So the programs you will need are Photoshop and After Effects or Camtasia. You could use a lot of video editing programs, but in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use both. So in Photoshop, this is the image we're going to create. I'm going to go press File, New. And you want to make the width and height bigger than your video. So I'm going to use 6,000 by 4,000. It's quite big, but it's going to keep as much detail. So press OK. I'm going to unlock the background. Oops. Make a new layer and delete the background. So you want to pick your two colors now. I'm going to use a white and gray. So go to your gradient tool and just go up and down I'm gonna press shift so it's straight and then you have this gradient uh, go to filter distort wave and these are the settings that I find work best so I'll take a I'll pause this so you can see the numbers and then you can change them around so you get this type of like uh, lines press OK and it should give you this. Go back to filter, go back to distort, and go to polar coordinates. Make sure it's rectangular to polar, then press OK. So this is the effect that it should give you. The same thing I had. And you, if you want to mess around with the settings, then you can do that. But as you can see, this top part there, it's a little bit bigger than the rest, but that's OK. So save that and go into the next program. Okay, so I'll start with Camtasia and I'll import my file that I just saved, import media, and then you want to drag that to your timeline. And 1920 by 1080, that's the dimensions I'm going to have. And you just want to stretch it out while pressing shift so it's way bigger than the, uh, the actual video. So now you want to make it however long you want to like how long your video is going to be so I'm going to put it at 15 seconds about there and then you want to go to you make sure your picture is selected and go to visual properties so you might not see that go to more and it could be a one of these uh, choices so visual properties make sure your time your cursor is at, is at zero and then you want to press add animation and then you go to the end of your video and the rotation, you put how much like rotation you want. So uh, negative is going to be on counterclockwise, I think, and clockwise is going to be like positive. So I'm going to put negative 720, and you press Add Animation, and you just want to stretch that all the way so it's so it spins. What did I do wrong? Zero. Okay, there you go. You have to put the 720 first and then add the zero. So uh, the negative, it makes it actually go clockwise and the positive goes counterclockwise. Okay, so the last thing you have to do is to make sure that the picture fits the video correctly. So make sure it's stretched enough so you don't have any black corner, but you don't lose too much detail. So I have it here pretty good there. The corners barely touch. So yeah, that's about it. Okay, so now we're going to jump into After Effects. Okay, so now that I'm in After Effects, I have my picture loaded in. I'm going to make a new comp with it. And now the comp's at 4,000 by 6,000. So I'm going to... 6,000 by 4,000, sorry. So I'm going to put in 1920 by 1080. So you'll see the image is way bigger. So I can scale that down to about here. And then you want to add your rotation. So hold the, the layer and press R. So at the start of your video, well first I'm going to put the, uh, the how long I want the video. So I'll put it about 10 seconds. I think that's 10 seconds. Okay, Control Shift D and just delete this part. So now, uh, add a keyframe by clicking this little uh, timer and go to the end, uh, end of the video, 
press shift to uh, make sure it's locked at the end and you put the degree so I'm gonna put 360 and I want to choose how many rotations gonna do so I'm gonna in 10 seconds about two rotations so if I ram preview this maybe it's gonna be too fast you just got to play with it maybe you really want it fast I don't know so yeah that's like a really fast effect if I just at the end here I'll just put one rotation actually re-render that so yeah that's a nicer effect if you want it slower you can put it slower if you want it faster you can put it faster so yeah that's pretty much it that's how you do it with Camtasia and After Effects I hope you enjoyed please leave a like comment and subscribe I will be back with a lot more and see you guys in the next video